the football academy journey. It was all a dream. I was an underdog trying to play catch up. Um, and even when I got my scholar, I always felt like I was playing catch up. Like these boys will be going away with um, the, the age groups above and the resi boys. And, you know, I was always kind of left back. And then you have players getting released, having the, the mental health issues off the back of that, suffering depression. My mum didn't enjoy watching games. Every time I fall over, she's, she's, she's saying something in, in our language. So uh, my dad <laughs> my dad didn't really... They, my parents weren't really travel, yeah. travelling. They didn't really like travelling, but seeing them at Yorkville, it was, that was like a nice... It's, it's something that um, at that time, especially, and now thinking about it, really, really helped and, and settled me. I think the pre-season, I think I turned up late to the training camp. I can't remember where it was. And I was in like different training gear and I felt like a trial. Trying to elevate us and maximise our potential. Um, he was that father, th that father figure as such, a top, top coach. How uh, like pressurised it is uh, for the player and, and what he's going, going through. I think we sort of pushed each other. If somebody yeah, was, yeah. That's true. If somebody <laughs> was losing focus, if they had a girlfriend, if they were, going on a night out if they were turning up training late, leaving early, we'd dig them out. So I think we sort of created that environment by ourselves. It was all a dream.